Hello, everybody, and welcome to the House of Jinshan. Today, I have a very, very special guest, and it was very hard to get her because she usually doesn't make live appearances. And it's Mayumi Ohashi, who is our business manager at Jinshan Institute. Um, she, you can see she's going around the city and she's well protected. Uh, she looks like a ninja and a little bit like my daughter at the same time. <laughs> I've known Mayumi for 30 years and Mayumi was, used to be the organizer for Philomena's classes and she's also Philomena's daughter-in-law. So she has a lot, a lot of experience and, um, you used to work on the person also who introduced me to it, Paris, and you would go with your husband, Owen, you would go and, um, and treat him. So welcome, Mayumi, what's an honor to have you. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be working for you. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm just, um, as you can see, I have to gear up every day. Um, not that, I mean, besides the fact that it's actually uh, a law in the city, if you have to be in public, you need to be wearing your mask and your gloves. And as you see, I'm out every day, so I just need to make sure I am protected. So when I go home, um, you know, the kids are there and that's when I don't really like to wear my mask and clothes. <laughs> right, but, right. And you, yeah. you have uh, two kids at home, right? Yeah. Yeah. three I children studying hard right now. Good. Yeah, so studying hard. How I, how I was introduced to Jenshin? Yes. Well, I was very, <laughs> I was very fortunate uh, to uh, to end up being the daughter of Philomena. Um, but uh, my first experience with Jenshin was that Owen, um, there was a, a bunch of friends that went to, uh, we were at the local park and playing football. And he, uh, when he got home, he actually had poison ivy. So the first thing I asked uh, Philomena was what I do for him. And she told me to hold his calves. So I held it for probably about, uh, even though she said it was like, you know, to hold it for about 20 minutes, I wanted to do more. So I did it about probably 40 to 45 minutes. And I actually saw all the bumps just disappear in front of my eyes. So that's when I yeah, thought, okay, amazing. I need to learn about Jinshin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I must say, you are one of the, the most amazing practitioners. Um, I've had mm, some sessions. You're very sweet. So. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, so, and, and so from there on, you went to study. And then how, how did it develop yes. for you? Um, yeah, no, it was definitely, uh, I definitely felt uh, a gravitational force to Jinshin it seemed to come naturally to me. I, I didn't question it. I felt that um, it definitely made sense. Um, I think even not, you know, when you actually learn about it, you realize, oh yeah, I, I do that. And then you realize that the things that you just uh, uh, unconsciously do, like for instance, if you feel like, oh, you know, my shoulders are aching, you know, you immediately just start holding it and then you'll feel the tension and then you kind of, hold it until it dissipates or dissolves. And then it makes sense that, you know, just even touching certain safety energy locks on your body, that it actually helps your body in the long and run. So you it, are from, um, from Japanese background. Do you think that has anything yes. to do with it? Just your, your upbringing, your culturally? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, I mean, it's kind of interesting because, um, I felt that since it definitely was a lost art, it wasn't, it wasn't very known, even in Japan. You know, I think, um, I think uh, the other modalities end up sprouting from it, like shiatsu or um, acupuncture. You know, that definitely was already in the mainstream in Japan, but um, 
it's nice that you know you don't i think it's definitely uh a lot more um i feel it's definitely a lot deeper you know with the the art of jinshin it's just it it just you can tell that it makes sense that it was the original modality and mm -hmm. then everything else sprung from it yeah okay. but yeah well, it might have helped you know yeah, and um, so that ties into our mission at the Institute to open it up to the world, really, to let people know about it since it's so easy and effective. Yes. And you, when you first came to it, I mean, how, what a wonderful story that you didn't know anything and you just placed your hands yes. and you saw it transform in front of your eyes. So that's one yes. of these examples that draws people in. Oh, yeah, it was definitely a, a, a miraculous uh, experience at that time because I, you know, I was like, wow you know, just and seeing, um, dissipate. Your father also, he practices? Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he retired, but I, uh, I was actually talking to him the other day and I can't believe he was actually doing it for 13 years. I mean, you know, it's like, you just think that it was just a couple of years, but, um, it was actually 13 years. And he himself also had, um, he was going to an acupuncture for some neck pain. And then I said, oh, I think you should do some Jinshin. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I sent her to Philomena. And mm -hmm. um, then, of course, you know, he ended up uh, believing in it because it, the pain that he had going to the acupuncturist for like a year ends up just, you know, disappearing like in a couple of sessions. So then, then he was definitely most interested. So uh, he took classes with Philomena. And then I also think I, he, uh, he took class with uh, Matthias also. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember so, him in a yeah. class in New Jersey. Yeah. Right? So, what was then, just one know, more yeah. question. <laughs> what was it like to be organizer for Philomena? Uh, oh, it was, no, it was fun. I mean, I probably drove her nuts. <laughs> um, meaning, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I'm well organized, you know, very, uh, but I think when we were traveling, um, you know, she may want to be at the airport, maybe, I don't know, two, four hours before the flight, but I would be the type to be there one hour. <laughs> so I, I definitely know I probably stressed her. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. for, but, we, you know, we definitely make it on time on the plane. <laughs> But, right. you know, I think that that was part, that was probably the part that I think I might have uh, stressed her out, you know, um, I don't mm -hmm. think she really needed to have to go through that. <laughs> but I, um, but other than that, yeah, no, it was definitely, um, it was definitely a really great experience. Um, even just learning each class would be very different. You learn something new, you pick up the uh, certain things also, you know, sometimes even on the first class, you may not get everything. But as you uh, continuously be exposed you know you definitely pick up more information as you go mm -hmm. so yeah it was definitely it was definitely a great experience yeah that's, so. I'm sure you learned so much I mean um, I took so many classes with her too and it was just uh, she's just an amazing teacher and I hope that one day we'll get some more videos of her so that more people can enjoy her teachings anyways yes, maybe definitely. you and I can work on that <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think we have some work she, to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you're watching. I'm getting a little red hair on my face. <laughs> anyway, I'm putting that thought out there into the universe. Yes. Um, Mayumi, so do you have a daily practice? Um, I do, except it, uh, it differs every day. I think it's when you, you know your body. Um, I don't always do the same flow. Like for instance, I know I was going through, uh, I mean, the times right now is unfortunate with the COVID-19 uh, and I feel that, you know, you definitely need your immune system to be in par. So there are certain flows, you know, um, that I, uh, that I, one of my favorite flows is the first method of correction. All right. Is it, and, can you, is it possible for you to guide us through? something because a lot of people are um, ready for our daily practice and i told them that you will guide <laughs> us through something so let's go and you okay. can keep chatting let's start okay well you know um 
also besides the first method i mean that's an easy flow to do on yourself sort of i mean except for the last uh spot you know you kind of grab into the 10 but um yeah you hold your shoulder and you're 22 um and i actually really like this flow this is a flow that i also do um you know if my kids ever feel like oh you know their temperature seems to be rising you know and um as soon as i know that they say oh 98.7 but um uh, we're a family where 98 98.7 98 would actually be a fever for us you know because uh, i run lower um so it's like 96 point something 97 mm -hmm. and then you know you would just start feeling it that's when i just you know immediately just start doing the first method on them and then it's it's gone so even if um even if there have been at times where uh you know if they ever do ever reach 100 uh this is definitely the flow i do versus the um i know it's good to do the three or the eight and 16 but this seems to be as i say uh philomena would say dynamic but it definitely mm -hmm. is I, I it's one of definitely my favorite flows and then mm -hmm. after you do yeah your shoulder and your 22 you'll hold your finger you know um i know it's kind of hard but then you can kind of grab as you're holding your shoulder you can hold your middle finger you know where middle finger then you would um the next finger would be uh, i don't know if you can see but anyway middle finger then the ring and I'm little finger it. on the back side yeah, okay great the little uh, the ring finger and then the ring little finger. finger little finger yes mm -hmm. and then it'll be the index finger and the thumb the palm mm -hmm. side of it yeah so can you explain the difference why does it sometimes say the back and sometimes the palm side well uh, where the when you're i guess with the correct energy um you would for the congestion it flows through uh like the the pattern of the uh the energy to be correct it actually goes through the back side of the middle ring and index and then as it flows through to the front then it actually comes around and it's the front of the palm side so then it would you would hold the palm side of the the mm -hmm. index and thumb yeah and you were talking about sel3 is it okay to hold sel11 and 3 kind of together oh yes i do it all the time i yeah i hold i hold both because um it's i feel that it also opens up you know um helping the immune system and you might as well just do both you know i do i you know yeah okay and then um after we're done with the fingers, you know, you just hold your right hand is the right two, which is the the back. The right lower back. Yeah. Back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after this, you know, you only have a couple more, couple more spots of. There's an eight in there, the right? Points. Yes. And important to breathe, especially if you're wearing a mask. On the eight here. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that Mayumi doesn't always wear a mask, although it <laughs> does very well. well it's, on you. it's just definitely recently, the you know, since uh, since lockdown. So yeah. what? It's coming two months. Yeah. So I just would like to point out that I find it very interesting how both Maria and you, we had Maria on um, last week, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You're both very casual about these flows and really it seems natural, which I think is really important for people to understand that you can practice this anytime while on the job, sitting mm -hmm. in a car, you can use yes. it. And it is really natural to us. And it's important that everybody makes it comfortable and kind of like mm -hmm. um, second nature. And that is very yes. clear from effortless. And both you and Maria yes. really demonstrated that. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely, I mean, because, yeah, I, I mean, as soon as I feel like, oh, yeah, that's also another, I remember, um, uh, you know, 
uh, another another great SEO for for me. I mean, I don't tend to use it now, but I remember uh, the you know the uh, teenage days or I, the high ones came in very handy. I must say, you know, you would feel like you're you're sitting at the dinner table, yeah. and next thing you know, oh my god, you're just full, and then you know you don't want to be impolite and you need to eat more <laughs> and uh it definitely it definitely that was like uh another well, that's why you were always dynamic. sitting like that you wanted to eat some more <laughs> yeah <laughs> i i personally had that once yeah i had this huge ice cream this huge sundae and i really was i couldn't eat anymore and i really wanted to finish it so i held the ones and it just you feel yes. it moving down so i know crazy. isn't it amazing yeah yeah and then next thing you know you know you have another wind and you could start eating again <laughs> that would be a good one for children as well then when they yes. say oh i can't eat yeah. anymore i'm full yeah oh no hold high your ones. ones actually i do say yeah high ones i actually do say that i say oh just hold your high ones mm -hmm. it's like oh, are your full. children into yeah. this at all are your children they like to practice they like to receive <laughs> they like to they love to receive yeah, they love to receive. Yeah, I think Philomena so, gave some sessions to your middle one too, right? To Mina. Yes, they they point. definitely, yeah. yeah, they they just, they come to me, uh, I mean, which is nice that they, they just come to me and say, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not feeling this way or this way. Oh, could you give me a session? It's not like they, you know, they won't come up to me and say, oh, well, besides the fact that I don't really keep, keep any medication, <laughs> you know, the, uh, <laughs> um uh you know it's naturally for them to just tell you know to ask for a session they'll just say yeah. oh you know i'm not yeah it's like oh you know suddenly my sinus or oh i'm not feeling good and and then um you know if there's even if it, it would be just even a, a quick a quickie for them you know just hold certain points and then next thing you know oh they're like oh wow you know i feel better already so what do you tell yeah, them to hold uh, the kids and what's an easy one for children that you recommend an e easy hold for um children? i think that the children i think is definitely the ones the high ones are easy um the uh 16s are easy too but i think they tend to not want to hold like uh, you know i'll say oh um holding the fingers is fine too they're good with that but they don't tend to like to hold the toes um because like if i held the toe as uh you know they don't want me touching their toes because <laughs> they mm -hmm. you know they might they'll be in pain you know but it's it's and i said well it's oh, not supposed it. to be <laughs> yeah and then <laughs> but you do it and then uh, yeah. yeah you, have a, you have a you have a firm hold right can you can you say something for the practitioners that are watching about the firmness of the hold? like some people are really light and some people are deeper well i feel like you don't really need to hold see there's a difference between if you're holding it hard and you're feeling the pressure and then if you're just holding it meaning like i don't hold it so that it's like my weight is into it it's just that i i feel like when you if it's a you know if it ends up being a delicate spot obviously there's uh disharmony so you know it may feel like i'm putting pressure but it really isn't it's just that you know um i just feel like there's certain parts of the body that may be a little more sensitive than others and i feel the toes are probably more neglected um it's not like we always want to reach for our toes so i do feel a lot more congestion in people with the toes and then they feel like oh my god you know but it's just that if you get the right spot you definitely mm -hmm. feel it and um so, so that's that's interesting uh, that you say the right spot and that yes. really so, has some practice right it takes a little practice yes yeah although it's just, our very you know, own can, although yes <laughs> our very own like Bola. It, <laughs> yeah <laughs> last week because she lives with me right right now um yeah. i was so desperate for a session we did the next change and she gave me her mm -hmm. very first session and oh, she nice. uh, yes she was so good because she's been listening wow. of course, to all these uh, lives so she knows yes. a lot and but meanwhile she was really finding the spot she was like right bullseye on it and she just allowed it That's she wasn't great. trying very hard and yeah, yeah so it doesn't take I think it's, very, I, very long no and i think that it's you know when you try that's probably when you know you may 
miss it. You just have to be. And then I, I feel like if you just, you know, go with the flow and, um, and then I think it helps also to learn on your body. So then when you do work on other people, you know, you can kind of feel different textures or, you know, if they feel like if there's any congestion, you can immediately tell um, by touching the body. Oh, the next spot, I don't know if anyone's doing it, but the right hand goes on the left eight. Um, I usually do not just the outside, but I also, uh, when I do it, I do the outside eight, outside the knee, but then I also have my other uh, thumb underneath in the center of the knee as well when I'm doing the eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I kind of wrap my hands around. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So, so we're still in the yeah. first method as we were talking. Yes. <laughs> you were still, yeah. So really you can practice this anytime mm -hmm. as you're doing your other things. We can just keep practicing yes. and harmonizing. Yep. Yes. So it's, um, I definitely, you know, like I said, it's uh, each day is definitely different for me. You know, if I feel like, oh, you know, maybe I need um, the spleen flow today or, you know, the organ functions definitely, the organ flows are mm -hmm. definitely easy to to work on yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's... And so it's, it's really about it, listening, but... listening to your body and being, mm -hmm. um, explore, explore the art yes. because we change it every day. And really also yes. to have the courage to, to practice different flows and see what works for you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, it's, I think it just takes a little bit of uh, time or effort just to listen to your body and know yourself that way. You know, and then, mm -hmm. um, then I feel like your innate wisdom will come out and say, oh, wow, you know, you start listening to your body. It's like, you know, it's the same thing with food. Um, you know, I kind of go in and out of, uh, being a vegetarian, you know, I used to be strict, you know, I, I, like if I ever went to a restaurant, um, you know, now these days people actually make soup with vegetable stock, you know, it, it mm. definitely came a long way before, even if you order a vegetable soup, you know, like a butternut squash soup, they use chicken stock. You know, but now there's uh, definitely a lot more chefs that are more aware that people are vegetarian or vegan. But um, I listen to my body. If there are times where, yeah, you know, I don't want to eat the meat, I don't eat meat and it'll be months. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly it might hit me and say, oh, you know, I must be a little low on vitamin B6. You know, and then, um, you know, I just might want it, but I still don't really want so much of it. But, you know, when you start yeah. listening to your body, then I feel like, you could definitely uh, make more healthier choices as so it's well. really listening without judgment also. Like if you yes. need something, that you can give it to yes. yourself without having That's right. judgment and putting negative energy yeah. on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just have to, because, you know, I don't think it's really worth being hard on yourself. Like, um, you know, your, your body is talking to you. And I feel, you know, I know there are people who, you know, are very strict um, and then whatever reason, and it's fine, but sometimes you can tell that they are lacking or their body needs something and they're maybe missing some nutrient that is necessary. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, uh, you just have to, I, I feel like you need to be, uh, to be more relaxed on, on yourself and on your body. And we're also so, all different. So there is not one formula for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah. body, different body constitutions and all so is there a last yeah. step to this flow yes 10 so you this are one so chatty i didn't know you were so okay. chatty really. <laughs> 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 10 yes so i gotta grab it's kind of hard but it's you know uh if your body if you know if your arm could Read, your hand can reach it, you know, it's right, it's right off the shoulder well, blade, but I can't. Everybody has been doing a lot of yoga while in quarantine, so this yeah. should be easy. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. can you hold your high 19 if you can to reach Yes, the 10? you can. Yes, so but I, can I try hold. to go for my 10, but you can yeah. hold your high 19. You can hold yeah. high 19. Yeah. This is on an, in and of itself, this is a nice stretch. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the last. Uh, that's the last spot. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very, very much for coming on. 
I hope you well, enjoyed you. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everybody will really enjoy listening to you, Mayumi, and all your, <laughs> you know, all your wisdom. Well, thank you. And, thank you, Alexis. Yeah. Any... <laughs> all right. Well, do enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy. And, um, you too yes. and everybody right. thank you for joining us enjoy your day and practice with confidence and fun pleasure and we'll see you all really soon bye me me bye, bye, bye everybody bye. Bye. bye be well be well everybody